new job application form could save hundreds of California uh, Californians from returning to prison. So Ooh. these are convicted convicts or ex-convicts that have gotten out of jail or prison and they want to apply for jobs. But unfortunately, a lot of these job op applications include a section where you have to admit whether or not you were a convicted felon. And if you were a convicted felon, then chances are you're probably not going to get hired. And that's what really contributes to the high recidivism rate here in the United States. Uh, but Governor Jerry Brown has actually signed... this bump on nailing recidivism. It's not easy. No. Recidivism is a difficult no, word to say. Good. Yeah, every time I say it, I get a little proud. Totally. <laughs> I do a little shimmy. <laughs> anyway, um, so Governor Jerry Brown is set to sign uh, this piece of legislation. And I think it's actually uh, good news because it would remove the question on local and state job applications. And hopefully if California takes the lead on this, um, it will have a domino effect in other states and hopefully uh, these convicted felons or ex-felons will have the opportunity to restart their lives. Because in reality, we have this system where we make people pay for their crimes, they get punished, and then after they serve their time, we still treat them as criminals. So how do you expect them to be contributing members of society when you keep you know, treating them as if they're nothing. Yeah, what a horrifically backwards law this was for the exact reasons that you just said. It's crazy. If, you, if these people are serving their time, if, they, if they're doing their time correctly, often getting out early, yet they have committed a felon, which nobody's diminishing that, that you're not giving them a chance to rebuild their life. Because at the end of the day, if two people have two exact same resumes and one says former felon and one doesn't, obviously you're going to go with this one. And that's crazy because otherwise you just send these people back to jail. That's known as Recidivism, <laughs> recidivism, uh, or or they're just going to have to get on unemployment or uh, you know all kinds of other public programs, where, which is just taken from the system. That's too, actually so. a great point. Um, usually, what happens is uh, since they can't get jobs, they do have to depend on food stamps and other social programs. So taxpayers actually end up spending more yeah. of their money on taking care of these people who are um, ex-convicts. So. It's, it's a disaster, and I think that uh, this legislation that was proposed, and hopefully um, the governor does sign it, I think that it's common sense legislation, and I would like to see it have a huge impact on other states as well. And I should also note that 25% of Americans have a criminal record. And think about all the tough on crime legislation we have right now, tough on crime laws we have right now, like anti-drug laws, for instance. So people are serving time in prison for that, and then it impacts their lives negatively forever. Yeah, and w one other thing real quick is if we're supposed to have any faith in our criminal justice system that these people are being rehabilitated, well then we have to give them every opportunity to be integrated back into society and to be able to get a job. Otherwise, what are we actually saying about what we've done to them in jail? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? No, if we, we'd, we'd be being honest. Well, we'd be change. being honest, right. but, but since when does that have anything to right. do with the public discord? Uh, the reason I was looking for the Los Angeles Times, which I got out here and I did not grab the front section, is I read a story today in today's LA Times, Aaron Alexis is that the Navy shooter's yeah. name, right? Yeah. So, Aaron Alexis, as they were, as the as the Navy and the contractor who hired him, sort of sort through the giant missed signals that screamed, "Don't give this guy security clearance." One of the things when he applied for the job was he had to check that box: was he ever convicted of a felony? And apparently, here's how you get out of that: check no, and that's that. So yeah. you know, and and it was that simple. And, and they said it in their quote. They're like, oh, look at this. He said, no, what, what, were, what were we going to do? So maybe what felons need to do is check no. And yeah. then, of course, they risk the... Uh, they're on the risk of, you know, I don't know, I don't know, that's against the Is that a felony if, if you, you, uh, you don't check the box? <laughs> or check the box incorrectly? Yeah, but that's all Aaron Alexis did, is he checked no. 